Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on a new product called Helium from Fall Pocket. Helium is a new a UV free MIDI sequencer and um, it's been recently released so by Fall Pocket so there is uh, it's early days but is gaining very much momentum and a lot of new features added to it. In this first video, I'm going to give you an introduction of the tool and then uh, we go into additional tutorials to explain how it works. And bear in mind that uh, some of the functionality as they're still under development, they might change. Before I start, I have a number of codes uh, um, courtesy of Paul from 4Pocket. So do follow the instruction on the video description to um, uh, enter the giveaway competition and also please do check the first comment in the comments section to see if the competition is still open i have also included a link to paul's channel so for four pockets so please do check also his tutorials so let's start i'm inside the um so let's create a midi channel and also an audio channel then let's search um <clears throat> for helium and there it is. Now let's um, um, search for the audio uh, channel, something like continue, like so. And let's uh, set a preset. Why not? Let's choose something from Red Sky Lullaby. Um, something like the Fresher Pad, like so. Let's connect the two. And as you can see straight away, you have four ports coming out from Helion and uh, each um, port, of course, uh, have 16 channels corresponding to the 16 MIDI channels. So let's choose the first one and also let's set these to respond or to listen only to MIDI channel number one. So let's uh, open Helion. As you can see, uh, it reminds a little bit of uh, Atom Piano Roll. You have uh, a piano roll in this uh, left session. Uh, section of um, the screen. You have controls here um, vertically and also horizontally on top. You find the menu here with different options, which you will see in another video, time signature, tempo, quantize, different setting for grid, your transport control. Here you can record. And if you click and hold where there is this top left triangle, it means there are different options. You can also do step recording. You can activate a loop, synchronize it to the um, host transport control. And you can also have remote looping, which is really nice. On the left hand side, you have things like where you can select the MIDI track or if you click and hold, you can select uh, which MIDI channel, MIDI bus, and if you want a ghost truck visible on the screen, very handy. Here you have uh, tools like the draw and paint, different types of selection, clipboard, delete. And underneath here you have an undo option, which comes handy, okay, with additional options as well. And you have a mixer, which reminds you of a mixer from other applications from Four Pockets. And you will also have a controller here. And if under the controller, you can do things like um, quantize, uh, change the velocity setting for the notes which appear in the piano roll, but also the pitch bend, after touch program change, the bank select and modulation, as you can see here. Another important thing here is on the top right hand side, it says file. If you click on that, you, you have a selection of session, which you can save, songs, which you, you can import, like your MIDI song, and also clips. And this version of Helium comes with more than 7,000 chords and progression, which is really amazing. And this is what I want to show you straight away. So we are on track number one. Let's click on the A folder for uh, the um, a chord and uh, click and hold and move and then we go right at the beginning drop and here we have a chord which is really nice let's play now why now let's go for the a7 sus okay like so then let's go up and let's go to a d major chord like that right now let's scroll uh, let's look uh, scroll like that to the right and let's go up the tree and use a B major chord here as well now let's close these uh, um, oops um, nope let's close these uh, the files panel um, 
let's click select let's click somewhere on the screen so we have to deactivate the selection let's do a lasso selection like so and let's move these notes up something like uh, that like so you can uh, uh, use pinch in and out on your gesture so you can uh, uh, increase and decrease zoom vertically and also horizontally which is really nice a lot of the piano roll doesn't allow you to do that in order to create a loop you click and hold up here like so and you created the loop for the first uh, a eight major now let's make sure that the sync is activated we activated the loop and we go back to the beginning on the transport control over um and click play Okay, so you can see how easy it is. And if you want to add another track, well, let's add another audio channel. Let's this time, for example, choose something like a bass, a bass 808 from Audio Kit. So let's wait for that to load. Then let's choose a preset, like why not the upright bass. Let's decrease the master volume, normally it's quite high. Let's select uh, the helium port one again, but we make it listen to only channel number two. Remember, it's really great. You have 16 MIDI channel and you can have a 16 MIDI channel per different port. And then you can also have a different audio instances of helium, which is really, really cool. So, as you would expect, we can go here where it says track one and go to track two. And now here you can uh, um, create your uh, um, your melody. And something you can do as well is, as you saw earlier, click and hold on track two, where it says ghost track, and we just select number one. We exit, then we see the ghost track, and we can use that to create the bass. So we go on edit, and we just create something... Uh, uh, why not like um, like so and it's very simple use your thing you click on uh, uh, to create a note which is defined by the grid size and then you click also to remove it but I'll go through uh, in more details that in other tutorial uh, like so perfect now let's deactivate that track like so off and let's go to select um, and then let's select uh, everything again. Okay, and now let's, why not move that down? Let's zoom a little bit more, like so. And now that we have everything selected, if you click towards the beginning of the note, you can move it up and down. Okay, so for example, we can say, go down to note A, like so, and let's click play. So as you can see, very, very versatile. And I really, really like the fact that you have uh, all these chords and progression, which uh, makes it really, really easy to create your composition. Um, this was the first uh, uh, video in a series, and um, we'll have a lot more fun with the next uh, tutorial coming. Um, so I see you the next time. Bye.